Eastern Cape now, where the man accused of killing eight-year-old Tasni van Weg claims he and the underage victim were both abducted. Mukhadeen Pangaka says he was later dropped off in Pal and that that was the last time he saw Tasni alive, with the kidnappers at least. ENCS Nobesute Ejana is following his trial and joins us this morning. Nobesute, good morning. So yesterday we had the accused refining his testimony, saying in fact him and Tasni were abducted by the individuals they were assisting with directly. Directions. Certainly, Fundo. So he told the court that after he and eight-year-old Tesnaif and Veg showed the four passengers who were asking for directions to the Malawi camp, the passengers then drove towards the N1 where they were dropped off by the N1 garage um, not far from Vista. So he said that after struggling to find a lift back to Cape Town, those four passengers appeared out of nowhere, but at this time they were driving a bike and he was relieved to see people who he had seen before and uh, they went into the bike and they were driving towards uh, Lanesburg area and after that he said that they made several turns back to the Lanesburg area and then again to the Worcester side but when he um, he was tied up at the back of that particular bike and he was saying that um, he was placed at the back and Tesne was somehow sitting in front with the driver of that particular bikey, but at some stage that bikey made a stop towards the Lanesburg side where he was taken off the bikey and two of the passengers, the driver and one young male, they drove off with Tasne and came back and her body or her head was leg was hanging from her body and he said that they took the body towards a cliff or a hill where that would be the last time he saw the eight year old and he also told the court that he was assaulted by the passengers before they dropped him off near Vostia because there was um, a roadblock ahead and they drove towards the Bloemfontein side. So at that stage, he had to sleep on the side of the road and woke up the following morning where he went to the garage and asked to charge for his phone. But then he saw that there were a couple of missed calls from his sister and one from the person that he was renting um, a flat from in Ravensmith, and he was asked by his defense lawyer why at that stage did he not report what happened to himself and also what happened to Tesney and he mm -hmm. told the court that he was scared because none of the people would believe that he was not involved so he thought that people would be blaming him of Tesney's murder and also saying that he had nothing to do with Tesney's murder. Mm -hmm. I'm sure for most in the gallery it was very a bit traumatic to hear some of those gruesome events of how she lost her life. But what are we expecting today in court? Certainly when the, he was testifying in, on the stand, talking about the events that took place, we saw Tesne's mother, Carmen, uh, walking out and the father followed after that. But they also came back to court just to listen. But what we know is that the state this morning is expected to cross-examine Pangaka about his version of accounts because yesterday um, the state prosecutor did pose him a couple of questions regarding his memory, asking him how many children does he have? At one stage he said he had four, but then he was asked again, did you not say the last time you had six or eight? And then he said he couldn't remember, and he was also asked about their birthdays, uh, when they were born, whether he was a present father to, their ch to his children, and he basically said that although he was not present, but he was involved in his children's life, but most of the details regarding his children, uh, where they were born, their mother, he could not remember some of those details, blaming it to an assault that took place at Lady Smith, saying that, um, I mean, he does remember some of the things, but other things he just can't remember. So it will be interesting to see what the state um, does today, especially when cross-examining about his accounts, how he met Tesney, and the alleged abduction story that he came up with yesterday. All right, Mr. Sutter, thank you very much for the, uh, that update. We'll catch up with you a bit later on following court proceedings. That's reporter Nobisutu Hejana monitoring that case for us. Still in the